was fun. Maybe we should do it again. I've got some things to do. <laughs> okay, how about I blow off my plans and we can carry in breaking in your new flat? I could get dressed, go and grab some food, maybe light some candles. Do you mind if we put some music on? this stuff from going out my head. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. I'm sure you'll manage. Like you don't know this stuff already, like the back of your hat. <laughs> I do try and use my out of office hours as productively as possible. What's that supposed to mean? We've been on the job for a while now. This should be second nature to us. Well, if they didn't keep changing the guidelines and moving the goalposts, I wouldn't have to worry, would I? I'll find a lead to your parents. Do you know what it was yet? Let me guess. Upper torso covered in claw marks, concentrating on the breasts. Cause of death, throat removed by very sharp werewolf teeth. The SCSI haven't reported on this yet. It's like an A202, all right. I'm starting to worry she might actually be enjoying this. It's worse than that. Well, that's on you. Like me to to didn't do this. Are you sure? DNA, no match. Okay, I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, it's not giving me anything useful. But whoever did do that, didn't use our victim's blood. Are you sure about that? The scanner seems to think so. Jesus, Maya! There's protocols for stuff like this. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have shouted at you. It's OK. I shouldn't have done that. I found something. What is that? I don't know. So we should get the results of the scans by lunchtime and then if we have missed anything, we'll find out. Oh, but I'm late for my coffee. Coffee? What coffee? We've got a perfectly good coffee machine back in the office. I said I'd meet my Aunt Tina for a coffee. She said she got big news or... My, it's half past ten on a Tuesday. We've got work to do. You've got this, right? You are unbelievable. Care to explain? Maybe if you spent less time skiving off work and more time reading the regulations for the job that you made me help you get, I wouldn't have such a problem. It's one coffee. We'll tell Norris it's flexi time or whatever will make him happy. I need this, okay? Just a couple of hours away from... Do you want me to drive you? The fresh air will do me good.
thank you for coming to see me. I know you must be very busy. Well, you seemed pretty adamant we meet for a drink and a chat. And I know what you can be like, so... I wasn't as bad as all that, was I? Where? We had some good times when we were living together, didn't we? Yeah. Times were great. Right up until they weren't. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, wait, please, Maya. Let's just try this, okay? Excellent. Look, I don't think we should get caught up in all the who said what to who, why, why we did what we did, all that history. It should be a, a fresh start. Exactly. So why don't you uh, tell me about how work's been going? Is that really the best topic of conversation? Biggest part of your life, isn't it? Unless there's some special someone in your life <laughs> that I don't know about. No, no boy, just work. And work, work, work. Rules and forms, arrangements, more rules, crime scenes, investigating people who don't follow the rules. I don't think that's a little too dangerous given the circumstances. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know you do. And I understand, I really do. I just don't want anything bad to happen to you. Every report you read or hear, it's enough to make anyone think twice about setting foot outside their door. Well, it's a good thing the pets are out there keeping things in check, no? Is this what your mother would have wanted for you? Enough about me. How's your work going? Are you still spending your free time hosting the support group? No, I, uh, I had to give that up. I've, uh, I've just been promoted to the post of First Communications Officer to the Minister of Justice. Well, looks like we've both got good reasons to be stressed. Maybe we should arrange a spa day. Just us. Aunt Tina and niece Maya special. Just like we did with Mum. I think I'm going to get a coffee. Can I give you a bit of advice? Yeah, sure. I know I'm just your big know-it-all auntie, but I can see you disappearing again. Just be careful, OK? This isn't a coffee shop intervention. I'm. It, it's just a bit of advice. You've still got family right here. Maya, Maya, please don't. I can see you, Maya Hedges. Oh, I can see almost straight through you. Is he alive? Kind of. But these situations are volatile. You know, I make demands and you do or you don't follow them. T tell me what it is. What would you like me to do? Don't you dare. Don't you dare beg to me. Like, even for a second, you could ever change my mind. Who are you? You know who I am, sweetheart. I'm the cult. Where are you? Come on now. You know I'm that dirty little secret you've been telling yourself your whole life can't possibly be real. But never mind all that just now. I want you to help me. I've got a little riddle I'd like you to solve. And if you're a good girl, who knows? Maybe, is it Martin? Martin? might actually live, but I've got something to help you along with it. Now hurry fast, the clock's ticking, but not too fast. Me and Marty want some bonding time. Come on, Marty, come on! Uh, 
This is Mr. Clark, the Minister for Justice, my new. Uh, I'm sorry, something's just come up at work. I've got to go. Maya, it, it, it'll take two seconds. No, I've got to deal with this now. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what's gone into this. Don't be ridiculous, it's quite all right. In her line of work, if she says it's important, then it must be. Don't worry about it. So you, you know what it is that my niece does? Oh, yes. My hedges is all the rage down in the office. I heard she's made quite the name for herself uh, during her time in the pits team. She's always in the middle of a hurricane that long. It must be quite hard for you, though. Seeing her out there, day after day, risking her life to protect us. You must be quite proud, though. Sometimes, yes, but most of the time I'm... Sorry, I'm sure you don't want to hear this. Please, don't be silly. I've always got time for my assistance. What's on your mind? Maya hasn't had the most normal of upbringings, what with what happened to her. Our family. I tried my best to give her the life that she deserves. Where I tried to cope by, by reaching out to people, she decided to just run straight at it. Very different people in that way. It's a dark world indeed. Vampires, werewolves, the zombies. Things were so much more simpler when all we had to worry about was who was going to bomb us. Don't get me wrong. The work that the Pitts team are doing is wonderful. I still can't help but think we could be. What did you have in mind? Put together a proposition that will see the spiders take control of the day-to-day -day running of the supernatural community on a trial basis. Weren't the spiders taken out of service when the, the handover between the army and the police went ahead? They still do the odd mission here or there. Stops them from getting rusty. In case we have any more riots on our hands. Would we have enough funding to run both teams side by side? Should the spiders prove more effective, then they will replace the pits team permanently. It will take a lot to convince the right people and will need a lot of support from my constituency. I'm not sure, Mr. Clark. It would be putting my niece's job on the line. If she found out, it could damage our relationship permanently. This is very true, Tina. However, if something were to happen to Maya, whilst on a pet's operation there, may not be a relationship to work on. I have your support, Tina. Let's go back to the office. I'll start writing up a proposal this afternoon.